Uh, well, and kind of, the whole idea of kind of start the, um, the last year when I was, uh, when we uh, have this sort of uh, exhibition, a cross-cultural exhibition around the, uh, the world, and then I end up at John's place at, in uh, Khalid Bay. So, uh, you know, we have a, a conversation that, uh, you know, what we're going to do, but uh, as uh, John is a, He's a very young cop, and he, he, he does fine job. And uh, there's a lot of things that he have, have cop, and then a lot of things that he have desire to uh, to cop. So one of the things that he have in mind was uh, was Kenu. That's what uh, he, he he told me. So uh, he said he just want to uh, build a Kenu to uh, you know for for a try, and then and then you know just to give him experience in in the future. So uh, yeah, we did that's the whole plan that we said here. Yeah, right? I think that's a good idea because Kenu is a uh, was one of the useful things in those days, you know. I mean, in our, our lifestyle as a, as a as a indigenous people, you know, our ancestors. This, you know, Ken was the most uh, significant thing for them to, you know, for economical and uh, social wise. So, so I think the Ken was a good idea. So we, yeah, that, that was the whole idea that we started uh, building this Ken. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, fortunate to for Clintus to stay with me for for um, uh, eight days. And um, he traveled around London for uh, for a month. Yeah, he'd been traveling quite a bit, doing a lot of work. And uh, we asked him, you know, maybe is there something that you want to do while, we, while you're staying? Uh, do you want to relax? Or he said, yeah, okay. I asked him, uh, well, what do you do to relax when you're at home? He said, well, let's carve a canoe. <laughs> So I, you know, I enjoy telling that story to people, and you know, just because uh, I think back about uh, life on the Sepik River and, and uh, how everything is really a lot of hard work, and uh, carving canoes is, is uh, it's hard work. So um, we got to work on the canoe together for six days, and uh, we quickly roughed it in. Um, usually, that's the the quickest stage is roughing it in, and. Um, Cletus left uh, some drawings for me and to let me know uh, how to finish it and all the all the protocol that was to follow in order for when the ceremony came uh, to call the spirit to the canoe. Then I had prepared everything properly and I remembered everything that he was telling me. And but still, it was I, you know I I was um, I felt out of place you know doing doing this ceremony uh, without Cletus but uh, I knew I knew that we had to do something very special to in, in order to follow his instructions and I was uh, extremely happy when uh, Elaine had mentioned that uh, part of the Pacific People's Partnership uh, Cletus was coming as a representative and was going to be able to be here to do the naming ceremony which is really the the final part of what brings this canoe to life and I think the greatest thing about that is that the opportunity that we're that Cletus has, has given me um, and uh, everyone else that's here is that we get to share this this uh, ceremony together and you know in my heart I, I tell myself you know this is this is a real ceremony because this is when Cletus gives it its CPIC name or the, the tribal name, and uh, you know that's that's something really special. And you know I've never taken part in a ceremony like that before. And we have a lot of family and friends that are coming for that. And uh, it's going to be uh, an event that I really look forward to. I mean, to come here is another thing for me. I mean, it's sort of the first time. You know, to participate in sort of uh, even like that. You know, outside of my tribe and uh, my country and it's just uh, just a sort of a very you know important thing in my life uh, uh, yes yeah, back home uh, you know as I said uh, previously canoe is, a, is a one of our uh, a big thing you, you, if you don't have canoe if you, you, you have no life uh, tra yes, transport is a, is, a, is a big thing for for us also um, canoe we regard it as a, as a thing that is giving us life so we have a special very special ceremony for that in in, in 
in in we regard as a it's, it's just like another human being is 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 taking care of us another another spirit is taking care of us so we regard Keno as a, as a spirit or a, a human so we, it, it has to be named like human because you know it's a day to day a thing that we use and it feeds us and it, it looks after us so it's so special to us so we have this sort of a special ceremony when we build a big canoe as that's it's a, it's a walk canoe or it's a it's a working canoe or it's a fishing canoe but when it's big and attractive and there should be a ceremony for that and they have to be named and given a special name and a spiritual name that he can guide us to to you know our life to, to our livelihood so that's the, the ceremony we actually have is just a, a two different sort of ceremony. One is a light ceremony and one is sort of a, a, a big ceremony. The light ceremony depends on uh, the person which have a lot of, uh, you know, a um, uh, uh, lot of, um, you know, um, resource that he can, he can make a, um, a big ceremony. If that person doesn't have a lot of resource, then he make a short ceremony like um, uh, just uh, giving the name and that's it. But a, a ceremony, uh, a, a person as a resource, you have to do it in the right way, kill pig, make a fish, and every relative has to guard it. And they have to witness, they can dance till they break. And at last, the final final uh, detail is just uh, to, to, to give the name and then, you know, drag the canoe to the water. That's the, uh, that's the old ceremony if uh, a person has a lot of resource. But and it's just that uh, this ceremony will be so I think I respect uh, John and his, uh, his tribal man to, uh, I mean, we, I, I find out that we have this sort of, a, say, the same tradition. Day to day respect the canoe and they have a tradition for canoe. So I think, I think it just applied the same. So to come here, I don't think it's sort, sort of it's different from John's tribe and my tribe to regard a canoe as so special. So they come here, I would just, you know, we just stay, um, we just do the, the, the same, I mean, to attend a ceremony is so special, to stay with them and then, you know, to participate and, and I respect John and his tribal people to to give the spiritual name, to get a spirit in, I mean, to get a spirit to guide a canoe and, and I'll just, uh, my, I'll, it's just a privilege they give me to to name the canoe. I do respect John that, um, is, I mean, the canoe is, belongs to his land, and is, uh, is it, I mean, he's from here, and uh, the, the, uh, and can, is, is, uh, he should have uh, um, a name the canoe. But you know, to give me this, uh, you know, uh, respect, I really appreciate that uh, what John have done. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to give the name and and uh, and uh, send the canoe to what, what destination that you'll, it, it will be. Uh, blanketing, blanketing the workers. Plum, they're gonna sing one of their songs that they they made themselves. So. <clears throat> you wanna sing that now? <laughs> 